i hope we are audible to all the participants you can just wave hands that you have joined hello good morning to one and all so uh, today's our moderator is dr parnita sharma now i switch over this webinar to parnita ma'am thank you ma'am okay hello uh, jagdish sir uh So Suresh sir is looking forward for ID and password. So sorry for this uh, delay. Uh, Suresh sir cannot join because of. Uh, I think he's not uh, happy. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Dr. Pranita, madam. Morning, sir. Uh, Jagdeep sir, uh, there is a small problem. I think Suresh sir uh, cannot join us because uh, he's not having the ID and password. i uh, have just sent me the message just give a minute just give a minute yes sir Thank yes sir. we will live streaming on iap india youtube channel so please all participant please subscribe iap page even uh, some webinars also live on our fb page so please all uh, subscribe our uh, iap page and fb page also youtube channel and fb page on behalf of technical team uh, i welcome to all participants Okay, so I think the time is running. So here, uh, good morning to all of you. Myself, Dr. Pranita Sharma. I am Joint Secretary, MP, IAP, MP State, and uh, re uh, at present I am working as a physiotherapist in Choitram Hospital, Burn Unit, and Cancer Department. So I welcome all of you on the behalf of IAP. mp uh i want to extend my sincere thanks to our national president dr sanjeev jha sir and i want to extend my sincere thanks to our treasurer dr ruchi varshne ma'am and all the respected office bearers of iap mp cec and all the members uh thank you so much i welcome all the participants and uh, here uh with this thing i'm just starting the today's session with a, a very nice quotation that is research is an organized method of trying to find out what you are going to do after you cannot do what you are doing right now uh so uh today the uh, very special topic this research methodology 
uh, that is we are having a very special guest speaker sir uh, we are so thankful to have you today with us that is really we are very fortunate to have you and uh, i just want to uh, i want to explain some things i want to give a brief intro of sir today uh, dr a thangamani ramalingam he is a physiotherapist msc psychology pg diploma in research methodology advanced certificate in data analysis using spss software sir is a thoroughly trained ethically minded physiotherapist working as a clinician academician independent researcher and data analyst providing a high standard of quality services as a research guide he is responsible for guiding so many undergraduate research projects giving his inestimable services in many institutes sir has a exemplary experience of more than 25 years sir is uh, at present working as a lecturer a lecturer at the sarvajanik college of physiotherapy surat gujarat and a clinical therapist at lokat mulla sarvajanik hospital and multi specialty teaching center from february 2004 till date sir has got various certification in various prestigious cmes and workshops sir has conducted so many prestigious workshops and there are around 29 research publications of sir along with the publications of five five books including essentials of research methodology for all physiotherapy and allied health science students sir has translated 250 question plain language summaries in the tamil language and also he has translated pedro home page uh, in tamil language sir we are so we are so blessed to have you today uh, for this so your uh, your introduction is a uh, very uh, very exclusive sir i'm uh, sorry i have just selected some of it so thank you sir thank you so much and now the session is all yours and before proceeding i just want to uh, inform all the participants uh, you please uh, please uh, the participants you please just keep your video on video mode on and uh, please mute your mics and the most important thing is uh, please have a patient listening to sir you will not get such good top good topics daily so please have a patient listening you can just record all your questions in the q and a box and then we'll have a q and a session at the end of the session okay so please uh, keep the things in your mind and uh, yes uh, sir suresh sir is here uh, yes. so uh, good morning sir uh good morning sir so once again uh, i like to uh, welcome professor tangamani ramalingam sir uh, so it's very nice to have you so without wasting the time i think we can um, go for his valuable lecture i think the instructions are very clear once again i would like to remind everyone the speaker need to be on mute and uh, all of you please be on video sir so over to you tangamani ramalingam sir Uh, thank you all uh, very good morning <clears throat> it gives me immense pleasure meeting you people on this particular platform before starting my session i would like to thank iap and iap mp branch for organizing this particular seminar and they have taken a very good risk of uh, conducting a seminar on research which is always uh, Uh, felt uh, some odd man out in our uh, workshops and other things. Uh, and uh, all the dignitaries, respected uh, uh, faculty members, uh, fellow colleagues, friends, students. 
etc i don't know about the audience who are attending this over it is they are all considered as one family we are all physiotherapists so whatever we do today it is for uh, the sake of physiotherapy okay uh, it's a real pleasure for me coming and uh, sharing my views and with your views on this particular platform i think uh, we can go into the topic for today thank you all before starting the session <clears throat> let me share the screen from the literature actually basically i am from tamil nadu i did my ug in uh, common college of physiotherapy trichirapalli we have a literature poet of first century he says that ennanba yena eluthanba ivirendum kannanba vaalum uyirku this is in tamil that means numbers and letters are the two eyes for every living creature on this particular earth it is not only for humans it is for every living creature on earth so everybody's life it starts with only number we may think that for example if a lion sorry lioness goes for hunting it will assess how many buffaloes are there if more buffaloes are there it won't go for hunting it will wait okay when the herd it's splitted and it is reduced in number then only it goes for hunting the same thing the number is always very important for every one of us uh, our life okay how we understand number that way we are going to understand the life so the interpretation of life solutions outcomes everything is lying on understanding the numbers whether we like it or not we have to understand numbers okay the research always starts with a number okay when we have some problem with understanding and interpreting the numbers we get somewhat deviated always we are misguided by numbers and interpretation of the numbers so research is a kind of thing which is going to work with the numbers okay especially the theory of positivism okay that is empiricism we all believe that everything is quantifiable okay whether it is uh, the volume of milk or number of uh, chocolates in a box or love of a mother everything should be measured it can be measured so we are we can measure the things we can quantify the things our research works on this particular basis okay everything is number everything is countable okay i will not make you bored in this particular session as all we know research is somewhat a little bit bitter in taste okay but we have to understand as we travel in the profession okay because it is necessary to reach our milestones to uh, do the good things to care the society okay to improve the standard of the healthcare and physiotherapy services to the society definitely we have to understand we all should travel in this okay in unity okay first uh, let us go to the objectives of today's session okay i made it very simple okay today we are going to just discuss this objectives only starting from research and we are going to report the research this is what is the start and end point of your research okay in between we ask many questions why we do research how we can do research what are the methods okay uh, whether i am doing it right or wrong okay we have a lot of questions okay each and every area i am going to make only three points and one take home message i am not going to bombard you with a lot of details okay it's very difficult to learn research in a day okay so i am going to tell you three important points and one take home message for every heading okay let us start with uh, research why research in physiotherapy what is a research problem how i can create a question to do or start my research okay what i do with the review of the literatures how i am supposed to do where i should get the review of the literature all those things research designs 
what are the different types of designs available to check or verify a question okay every question will decide the type of the design so we have to have lot of designs if you don't know the different types of designs so we may not answer our questions then once the research design is then we have to select the samples to collect the data so the sample also should be planned okay we cannot do it just like that so formally using standard methods we have to select the sample that is what is sampling design then once all these things are decided in the mind we have to write the proposal and we have to place that proposal to some of the authorities as scrutinizing bodies they will go through that they will uh, correct all those things okay then only we can start the research once the research proposal also done we are ready to do the research then we do a small study pilot study it is called a verification study we have to do a small verification whatever i thought whatever i put in my proposal it is going to work so i do uh, using some three patients five patients i first i do then i find out the feasibility whether i can do it i can go ahead with my question and i can ho- go ahead with my methods that is called pilot study once we do the pilot study we come to know yes everything is fine we can go for your data collection then we go for your data collection how we take a paper and pencil we go and collect data yes but we have, we should know that a to z details of what is data collection what are the different types types of data which data i am collecting all those knowledge and uh, what you call idea very very important for conducting a research because data collection is uh, mainly uh, a field work if you don't know what kind of data you are collecting you may do lot of errors so in research always we have to count the error okay we have to try to keep the errors minimum so definitely we should know about data types of data okay how to collect what are the standardized methods everything we are supposed to know next once all the things are done then we have to enter the data okay because all what you have got now is only numbers these numbers are going to give you nothing okay they are going to give you only diziness so you have to arrange it you have to tabulate it you have to uh, enter into the proper software if the data is very big okay you cannot do every calculation by using the calculator so we may have to use the software for analysis okay that is statistical analysis once you analyze you have to interpret what you are going to interpret what my data says what is there already then uh, associating both the things you are going to derive some conclusions those conclusions are derived then you will be reporting the research so from how you started how you collected the data how you analyzed how you interpreted all those things you are going to write in a format that is called reporting the research so for every area we have some basic principles we have to follow okay if you follow the principles and if you understand what is there in that particular area then it will be very easy the entire thing is only known as a research original research article so everyone when you read you should know from abstract to conclusion how it is being organized cohesively coherently how it is being organized for that we need some kind of lexical resources grammar spelling academic knowledge language fluency strength interpretation so perception is very 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 important okay in the life there is only one thing is important whatever we know is only perceived reality the reality may be different the research is always going very close to reality anybody reached reality till today no we are all traveling towards reality only kilometers are getting lesser lesser but we have to reach some distance for the distance is there because uh, nothing is understood in a complete manner okay so understanding reality moving towards reality by using the perceived reality only research so whatever the article you read one one time two times three times 10 times it is going to give you different perceptions and different understanding okay this is what is the important overall concept of a research okay we will go into the topic one by one first research why we have to do a research before entering into that i will tell my experience why i came to research many of my students and even colleagues they ask me why you are honestly putting lot of time in interpreting and understanding the numbers always it is very uh, dizzy 
okay why in 2006 all you must have heard that in surat we had a flood situation okay flood came water was there at 20 feet level we stayed inside the house for 5 to 6 days okay nothing was available no vegetable no milk like that 5 to 6 days monday to saturday we were there inside the home only okay uh, during the third or fourth day my daughter got high fever more than one or two degree fever she got okay once the flood situation got over one month the situation was very bad in the health situation we consulted doctors here and there they used to give prescribed medicine fever used to come down again after a week again she used to get fever recurrent fever she was getting recurrent fever recurrent fever then finally they found one condition okay i don't want to mention that that condition they found then they pro- proposed me a treatment they told the available treatment is surgery you can do one surgery either laparoscopy or laparotomy either in a multi specialty hospital or in a uh, or in hospital which you choose either you do do it today or after 6 months okay you can do it in this vacation or next vacation like that but i did not able to understand that okay my my daughter was only 3 years old i didn't want to go for a surgery that time uh, in in india especially we did not have that much of internet facility we have to go to browsing center pay 20 rupees 30 rupees for one hour and you have to browse okay then only you will get something and you are you cannot access everything also not like now what happened i contacted through my friends practicing in uae united arab emirates okay gulf usa like that i contacted they contacted some uh, specialist uh, uh, people in that particular area who believed in research who used to uh, share the research okay through that i found that surgery was not necessary it was a anatomical problem you can wait up to 12 years observe the blood pressure and observe the uh, excretion function okay continuously if it is normal don't do anything just keep going whenever she gets some problem give this medicine like that okay otherwise she was having one medicine for continuously on antibiotic prophylaxis antibiotic for every day for 3 years they told us to stop everything so i contacted people and i stopped uh, on surgery for my daughter at age of 3 okay and i found that surgery was not necessary but uh, i did not get that advice here okay when we meet people who believe only the skills no that is something different i am not blaming anybody but when you want to know certain things high level solution you want to take to avoid a surgery or to undergo a surgery definitely you need some knowledge so research is necessary you may get more information from many people but the people who believe in research they will give you the knowledge okay so uh, evidence based practice following the evidence believing in the evidence practicing uh, the evidence in the practice it is a knowledge it is not information so every one of us you have to understand what is the difference between information and knowledge okay for the knowledge sake we just uh, uh do research so we have to understand what is the difference between information and knowledge research is to produce knowledge okay that makes information different from knowledge the second point of research why research empirical evidence creation okay we cannot believe anecdotal i have struck off this one okay you cannot ask somebody he told or she told like that we cannot practice we cannot consume some medicine we cannot take some treatment for many days we cannot spend more money definitely we need supportive evidence so this evidence creation is very very important who can create evidence the person who are practicing clinically uh, they are collecting the data doing research and uh, uh, placing it somewhere in the databases that is what is evidence that is also one of our responsibility okay as we all are practicing we have to just register our opinions our thoughts but in a formal manner that formal manner of registering that only evidence so it is for empirical evidence creation if we place it there people can use it like uh, me many people can get benefited you may avoid a surgery you may avoid a 1 lakh 2 lakh rupees spending on uh, some uh, management of some disease 
possible so economically you can uh, get favors and you can benefit in many ways then logical understanding and reasoning so research is for just understanding the things everything in logic okay for that i will tell you one story when the world, world war 2 was there okay many uh, aircrafts war uh, aircraft no they got damaged with uh, anti aircraft uh, missiles or uh, gunshots okay when they landed people uh, the scientists and all no they checked that uh, planes where the bullet uh, marks were there okay many people thought that at the tail end only there are lot of bullet marks were there so bullet marks wherever is more that that area is only affected so they told that the aircraft should be made some kind of shield should be given to the tail end but only one person told no 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 you see where the bullet marks were marks were less around the engine there you put the shield and he told that as bullet marks were less this particular aircraft escaped from the what you call anti missile guns that is why it reached the field you understand so the problem is even though you get shot in the tail nothing is going to happen but around the engine only you have to have the shield this is what is understanding logical reasoning okay when you see first whatever you see it will be like it's okay but when you go in to the depth and you try to understand with a lot of data okay you see from different point of view you would really understand what is research so research definitely give you will give you reasoning power okay apart from all these three important points i want to give you one take home message this is the picture for your take home message everyone should understand these are the different types of research okay you can see the data collection data analysis here it's a small round many people think that data analysis data collection doing the field work getting the things done it's very difficult as it is difficult it is not going to have more value in the research so it is the center point but it is a small circle then you have the designs then you have the type of research then you have the methodology then you have the different types of research paradigms okay this is this is called the paradigms okay we are using the positivism theory okay empiricism everything is quantifiable we can measure each and everything for that we have different methods deduction abduction induction nothing but descriptive research exploratory research and explanatory research or experimental research then you have methods qualitative method quantitative method mixed method qualitative plus quantitative method in that qualitative and quantitative methods you have different types of studies survey research quasi experimental study round randomized control study case study cross sectional study longitudinal study cohort study like that okay understand then finally come you are coming to data so every one of us we have to understand so many things in the research research is not only data collection it starts from the philosophy and it comes here okay science is the daughter of philosophy okay definitely we have to so whatever you think it is philosophy if you prove it it becomes science and research so your take home message is this only this many areas are there for in all these areas we have to have little bit little bit ideas start reading keep reading keep showing your interest in reading definitely you will understand okay the next one research in physiotherapy why we should do research in physiotherapy what is this present scenario in physiotherapy research okay another of research designs what one of the important problems okay we don't cross uh, two groups pre post design apart from that we don't understand other designs that is one of the important constraint of physiotherapy research we can do plenty of different types of physiotherapy research then we are struck with p less than 0.05 every one of us we take it as a mathematical problem we try to find the uh, solution for it research is not there okay only p value is not going to decide okay your hypothesis is wrong or right because it depends upon your hypothesis for example for every hypothesis if you prove p value less than 0.05 sometimes we may fail also okay hypothesis can be negative and positive hypothesis 
so what hypothesis you took accordingly you have to decide whether p value less than 0.05 is important or more than 0.05 is important because that is going to decide your alternate and uh, null hypothesis okay so definitely don't stick to this particular thing only p value should come less than 0.05 that is not the thing never quantify the effect of intervention then what we do by believing the p value we uh, compare two groups and we leave it there and we say that treatment a is better than treatment b by comparing two based on the mean you cannot come to a conclusion why you have to tell that because of your intervention how many people got all right how many people failed to respond to your treatment do we write in our research we are worried about this no most of the articles no we do we believe in only different there was a different that is why i say i mention i conclude treatment a is better than treatment b no this is not the thing treatment a, a is better how many patients out of 10 cured by this treatment a how many patients uh, cured by treatment b for example if you see out of 10 treatment a six people are getting uh, benefit in a treatment b out of 10 five people are getting uh, benefit that is 50% and 60% only 10% is a different that is why these groups are different you cannot say like that for example treatment a may be a Uh, hot water fermentation uh, what do you call uh, are a laser treatment treatment b could be a hot water fermentation okay if you take hot water fermentation it is only 10 minutes okay at home you can do but the laser treatment you need equipment you need a, a place you have to pay for it many things are there but what is the effect difference only 10% if you treat 10 cases one case is going to get extra benefit so all these things we have to uh, register okay in our research uh, about the quantification of the effect of the intervention it's very very important these quantifications are normally uh, mentioned by effect size risk ratio odds ratio okay confidence interval like that so many things are that uh, r square okay r value these are important effect sizes partial eta square if it is anova like that many things are there which we should understand we have to calculate all those things and we have to register in our research that is the second thing why physiotherapists should do research the important three points which i wanted to share with you is that then what is the take home message physiotherapists should know about levels of evidence okay there are different types of evidences there okay starting from 1 to 5 we have to know their layers it is a pyramid of cake okay so what is the top most evidence what is the evidence at the base okay this ideas and opinions are at the low level so if anybody says any other person your uh, reliable person says also you have to question that okay you have to find out where is the evidence evidence is there in the world but don't try to misunderstand my word evidence evidence is not that a researched or published article every research published cannot become evidence until and unless it is interpreted properly okay all we do research and we publish it is not that that is going to be the end there we have to analyze the research okay research all the researches are analyzed and we have to come to a conclusion so a systemic a uh, real systematic review meta analysis kind of thing only is called as research of research so that make the top most layer cream layer of the cake so we have to check with this and we have to understand what is low evidence and what is high evidence what is moderate evidence so according to the type of the research also we have low evidence uh, moderate evidence and uh, high evidence strong evidence like that so always systematic review rcts and all they score more this is what is the important understanding take home message for the physiotherapy so try to read a lot of rct systematic reviews and meta analysis try to understand that then only you could able to understand what really uh, you do is right or wrong how much you are producing the effect that you know or is it may not be possible okay why i am telling all these things all the practicing clinic clinicians we must have experienced okay uh, with our patients 
for example you see we treat three patients three patients one patient he gets all right because of our skill we give some kind of uh, skill unique skill we have that we apply the patient becomes all right 101 percent we know that he got all right because of our treatment like that the another one patient okay after few days you are giving treatment but you are not satisfied with the treatment you know as a physiotherapist what you are doing suddenly the patient becomes all right he says that i became all right everything is good but you have a doubt what i am doing no it may not be having the effect but how this fellow became all right so i have we have a doubt the third person okay you treat you find everything okay whatever the sources you gather data you analyze to get information from a person to research you give the things to the patients but that patient he become never becomes all right you don't know why he didn't become all right so we are in these three situations only sometimes we know why he became all right sometimes we don't know why he became all right sometimes we don't know why he is not getting all right only okay this is the problem for all these things where you will search you have to believe this particular research only if you don't have idea about research reading of the research articles understanding you will not get answers for these kind of questions definitely in your mind you must be having these kind of questions okay before going into the problem uh, i think i'm not by getting uh, you people bored with these slides dr pranita not at all sir the mm. session is really going well and uh, we are everyone is keenly looking forward on the, to the slides sir thank you so much sir okay I, i will continue if anything in between you have to stop me you can stop me okay uh, uh so just uh, just can you please raise the device uh, your device volume a bit uh, some participants are saying that the voice is clear but it is a bit low pitched like that okay i will uh, try that one oh, no problem no option for that now okay. it is okay fine sir it is fine sir it is yes, fine sir. so fine oh, sorry sir. it's fine please carry on okay it's okay. fine yes. it's, it's okay. clear to everyone maybe it could be a technical problem at technical time. problem no okay yes, that is what so, I, I please don't... be comfortable uh, ah yeah, yeah yeah thank you thank you please carry on yes. okay <laughs> the next point is a research question a research problem where i will get the research question whenever we teachers we tell our students uh, go and find out your topic immediately they come with o n e then they come with a low back pain like that it is a problem no it is the area of interest it is not the problem then where we can get the problem if at all we get the problem the problems are only possible by a practice only practice can give problem so this is the real problem of physiotherapy research or any research when we have to do research using students ug spg and all okay even up to phd also the main problem is we lack of some kind of experiences in the clinical practice getting the real problem from the clinical practice is a problem so who can give the support to the students uh, all we teachers and clinicians already practiced okay in the clinical practice we can make them understand the problem and we can use them for our what you call purpose of the research so uh solely relying on the students no it is very difficult because getting the problem is say problem for the students definitely because they don't have clinical experience so who can get the clinical pro pro research problem only the clinician can get the research problem okay but uh, normally we clinicians only mostly believe that uh, research is only for the teachers not for the uh, clinicians no the clinicians are better in creating lot of problem if they discuss with people they may come with a lot of questions because clinical practice gives you lot and lots of confusion those confusions are only problem that particular problem can be first point defined define your problem okay we have to define the problem exactly we have to put the problem in sometimes whenever we try to say that we just beating around the bush 
that's what i told no oh, any back pain like that the problem is this only if i take heart fomentation at home for 5 days okay my back pain will be over okay like that in that what you research you will do you cannot keep one on group heart fomentation without heart fomentation no this particular problem what we have written no that is not defined properly so we have to know definition it is like a newton's law how it is defined like that we have to define the problem for that we have to read a lot with understanding in this particular class it is telling everything it is something difficult i will give you the example as a take home message number 2 statement of the problem once you find the problem at least before defining you try to put the problem in uh, problem as a statement how we can write a statement given however therefore format what is given however therefore format what already existing in the what already existing in the uh, research field or the literature that is called given what is however as we are doing but we could not able to get certain things that is why i am doing this research for example hemophilia patients are having a compromised quality of life it this is what the literature says international literature says hemophilia joint bleeding conditions the given is the quality of life is compromised okay the quality of life is compromised uh, quality of life is compromised among the uh, hemophilia patients but uh, in india have we measured the quality of life of all the hemophilia patients we have hemophilia chapters everywhere in uh, big big cities their quality of life for indian hemophilic patients it is then no it is not then whole to some extent it is left out here and there so as it is not then for example in bhopal i am going to measure the quality of life of the hemophilia patients living in bhopal city okay like that you can do this is called the given however therefore format understand laser is a ultrasound is a treatment for a tendinitis condition it is a given thing however the effect between the 1 mhz and 3 mhz on this particular uh, tendo achilles tendinitis it is not uh, checked till today that is why i am going to use that as a thing and i am going to check it this is called the dashboard so given however therefore format so if you see the abstract of any article the background will be written like that only background or introduction will be nothing but known as a statement of the problem given however therefore so whenever you write your uh, research you have to write this is what is given but this is not known so to know it i am going to do it this is what you have to write okay once you finish the statement then comes your aims and objectives what is the aims and objective for your statement okay to verify the ultrasound effect on a particular tendon tendinitis with a different frequencies okay you are going to do something the aim is what to measure the pain to uh, measure the range of motion to measure the mobility then what objectives what do you do for that objectives using the numerical pain rating scale measuring by using the pain rating scale that is the objective we should not confuse objectives aims and statement so statement decides what you are going to do for that whatever the tools you are going to use or measure that is the aim how you are using it that is the objective okay nprs before and after roland morris kushner before and after quality of life before and after this is what is known as your objective this objectives are nothing but known as your null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis understood so when you get a problem you get it from your clinics practice definitely you will get questions or confusions don't worry that is the starting point of the research that is your problem note it down every time as you keep on practicing for 3 years 5 years you will get the consolidated problems some problems will be coming time and again those problems are your research posting okay then make the statement of the problem for that you have to review the literature everything you have to do lot of work it is not very easy to write the statement of the problem okay before writing we have to go for a literature review on that then you make your aims and objectives ready okay 
these are the important things in the uh, research problem okay now the take home message try to understand the problem purpose and the question okay title to hypothesis how to come from title to hypothesis this is the question of every student okay simple example distance learning is my topic for example in physiotherapy you take it low back pain is my topic okay research problem lack of students in distance classes okay here uh, what do you call you can take that uh, uh chronic uh, low back pain understand uh, 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 the effect of uh, particular intervention on a yeah? chronic low back pain it is working or not working any xy treatment i don't want to tell any treatment any xy treatment it works for a yeah? chronic non specific low back pain like that that is the research problem purpose statement just now i told you have to write it in the way given however therefore format finally is the research question you have to write that the effect of treatment da on this particular thing for example we write efficacy of impact of okay impact of a neck proprioception on balance in chronic neck pain patients this is a research question okay the health related quality of life of Hemoph adult hemophilia patients in Bhopal city. This is a question. So if you create a question like that, then it will be very easy. Normally the question should be in the experimental study and it should be in a PICO format. Population, intervention, comparison and outcome. Everything should be there. The first one I told you, neck proprioception, balance. You can understand balance, proprioception, proprioception to balance. What is the association? I'm going to check. So the question only will tell you what is the research design, whether it is experimental design, descriptive design, or exploratory design. Everything we can understand by just reading the title of the what do you call research. Okay, always the title should have a proper question. So question you can just make it as a topic. So what happens in the research? Normally everyone starts with the question. Gradually when we have to write the topic, we have some restrictions in the research writing. It should be less than 16 words like that. So what happens? The title we reduce and we make some kind of innovative title, catchy title, trendy title. So it becomes a topic. It is confusing for the students. So they have to search their question in the research. It will be in the abstract itself. The abstract itself question will be there. Okay, you have to find out what is the real question of this particular article. Okay, that is what is the important point in understanding the what you call uh, research problem. All right. Next, uh, we are going to review of the literature. Okay, after the uh, problem and question and all done, okay, definitely, even though it is a sequence, what I'm telling in research, it is not a sequence. There will be overlapping. We call it as a feedback and feed forward. So always research is feedback and feed forward. Definitely everything will be there. Uh, which comes first, which comes second, we can tell only for students. But really when you do, you have to do everything haphazardically like that, like this and only okay otherwise it is not possible okay i told you research problem you have to review the literature but i am putting it at the next uh, step okay for the student say review of the related literature search for the review of the literature number one problem for students is uh, where to search the review of the literature okay where i will get it they go to google and search and uh, say that uh, i could not able to get it Definitely, we have to make them understand how to search, what, they, uh, what are the databases available. For example, uh, many resources are available that I will give you as a take-home message. They have to understand, which is a generic uh, way of uh, searching, how we can do it, uh, what you call, scholarly, how to search the articles, which are the reliable sites, how to understand uh, or interpret the, what you call, and numbers given, critical appraised articles, how to select that, all these things are coming under search for the review of the literature. So search is one of the important things for that we have to have knowledge and we have to read a lot of books and other things there. Okay, what is review of the literature and its purpose? Why we have to do review of the literature? Next one. Okay, we collect from, we search some more, we learn it and we search it, we get a lot of articles related to our topic and related to our question. We gathered it. 
community, what we do? So and so Arthur et al. 1996 told in his research, this was the result and the, what do you call uh, abstract. Whatever is the abstract, we start uh, pasting it in our review of the literature. This you must have seen in most of the project works. Okay, even I did the same way. Okay, I did the same way. But we do that only. We go to the article, take the abstract, this et al. told 1996, this one. Then next, then next. Here wise we arrange the abstracts. This is not review of the literature. Review of the literature is not there. Review of the literature purpose is that you have to read everything. At the end of the read, reading, you have to take the essence of it. You should not give the orange. You have to squeeze the oranges and you have to give only the juice to the audience. Audience will not uh, try to squeeze every orange. It will be difficult uh, for them. It will be difficult for them. Okay, it will be difficult for them to crush it and uh, understand. So we have to give the essence to them. What theory, what physiology is behind your research problem? Okay, that is that much only you have to just give. You have to give a theoretical framework. So it is your understanding. This is what is there in the literature as a physiology or a theory or a theoretical framework behind uh, this one. Just a minute, uh, just a minute. Okay. Structure of the literature review. Next one is structure of the literature review. When we write, for example, in the introduction and all, no, in the this one, uh, what do you call research article? When you have seen the introduction, there will be big paragraph that only includes introduction or background includes all kind of literature reviews. How the structure will be? Okay, initially they will be talking about the prevalence and other things. How this condition is there in the uh, world? Okay. And what is going on for this interventions and all? Okay. And what is the exact theory works behind it? At the end of the introduction, the last paragraph will be your statement, aims, and objective. This is the way in the article it will be there. As article has got uh, word limitation, the introduction part only will be having view of the literature. That only will be having statement of the problem. That only will be having the aims and objective. So last paragraph of introduction, if you read, you will understand the statement, question, aim, objectives of your research. But initially, what should be there? Only the structure. What structure? The theoretical framework arranged in such a manner. For example, low back pain, intervention like that. We should not write uh, starting from the anatomy, physiology, okay, uh, et cetera, et cetera, with all the pictures. Like that, we should not write the literature review literature review structure should be somewhat a theoretical framework in a what do you call coherent and cohesive manner you have to present it in a nice way organized way you have to present it it should be like a story you are telling you are narrating what you have studied from the literature understand it should be a story or a narration of the researcher when he read the literature review that should be that. That one should be with the introduction, paragraph one, paragraph two, like that a conclusion paragraph. It is a way of writing in English. Always whatever you gather, you have to make it as an essay. Essay writing, we all know. Introduction, two, three paragraphs for the main points, then we conclude. Like that, it should be there. So it should not be just simply assembling the uh, collected information, putting it uh, randomly there, uh, making uh, 200, 2,000, 3,000 words. That is not a review of the literature. It should not be in that. Okay, these are the important points. Search, understand, purpose of the literature review and structure of the literature review. Okay, these are the important points I wanted to tell you. Okay, right? The take home message is this only. Primary literature where you get, secondary literature where you get, tertiary literature where you get. So primarily, everyone should uh, believe in original research articles. Okay, all those things only primary literature. Okay, secondary literature is uh, reviewer articles, books and all secondary. Tertiary one is textbooks, uh, textbooks, textbooks and uh, what do you call it? Uh, encyclopedia, handbooks, all those things. Okay, in that also you have the uh, category. Understand where you can search 
these are all the different resources okay you all must have heard about the that cochrane uh, library this is for systematic review and meta analysis okay right uh, then uh, you can uh, use pedro then you can use pedro for searching uh, articles then you can use pubmed okay uh, students they can use google scholar okay because google scholar covers uh, mo most of these all these things whatever is published in pubmed okay uh, all those things but uh, cochrane analysis uh, this one systematic review and meta analysis you want to search you have to go to cochrane.org uh, other sites whatever i have mentioned here all for that you need a subscription uh, uh, subscription and uh, this one uh, okay uh, username login password everything okay uh, that is what is very important being in india sometimes it is some uh, uh, difficulties or limitations are there we have to come out across the limitations having some contact with uh, foreign people universities okay uh, through institutions getting the things access is very easy but as an individual access is sometimes uh, difficult okay there are a lot of uh, sources are that somehow you have to reach that particular source and get the article then okay these are all the important things and how to search uh, all these sites no everything is one knowledge we have to understand all those things uh, we have to travel in this search every day searching spending some one hour uh, uh, in these resources no gradually that will make you stronger because all are uh, tech savvy people using uh, android mobiles and iphones definitely this will not be a, a big thing go uh, traveling no it will make you uh, very much interesting also at the same time okay don't take it as a tedious uh, time spending work it makes you very much interested after uh, engaging with that the next uh, this thing is research design once we finalize the review of the literature then we have to decide the a research design now the question is ready we verified uh, with our literature so we know the theoretical framework under uh, on which we are going to work and what is our research problem okay what we are going to verify everything we finalize then we have to decide what is my question for that which research design is good okay whether qualitative or quantitative understand whether descriptive research exploratory research or exploratory where it comes first that i have to decide it first once i decided i'm going to verify the intervention whether it works or not then it is own experimental research a quantitative research in that it is experimental research then you have to decide whether two groups or three groups uh, pre post pre post one post two post three so how many times i'm going to measure level of measurement based on that it will decide two group design three group design uh, the two groups repeated measure design three groups repeated measure design everything that will decide okay deciding this design totally depends upon your particular what do you call literature review definitely that will make you stronger in deciding the designs so you get answers for all the questions wh questions in the research design what i am going to do where i am going to do when i am going to do how i am going to do okay which i am going to measure okay what is important everything what all wh questions should have answer with your design if you decide can uh, answer all the wh question whatever you ask that is the right design okay some questions qualitative design is the right design some questions quantitative design is the right design some questions you have to mix it it is called a mixed method okay components of research design what are the important components of research design it include sampling observation that is outcome measure selection statistical what is the proper uh, statistical test i have to use to get the answer or solution for my question then operation what, what is operation what are the tables these that everything you have to pre plan research design is nothing but known as a layout plan including your sample sample size uh, who is going to be there not going to be there what are the outcome measures list of the outcome measures when you will apply which order for what kind of outcome measure which kind of statistical test will come for that what kind of table you have to make how to enter the data every plan should be there it is called a layout plan a research design is nothing but known as almost 80% work is done okay everything should be there just you have to enter the numbers only so you are clear with all your ideas the third point is principles of design very important when you make a design 
try to make the error less to make the error less we have to use some kind of principles of design every design has got some principles for example here i have written randomization and control if you want to do an interventional study try to keep a control group it's very very important uh, yesterday also i had, i was discussing with one of my a uh, friend uh, for phd defines uh, okay uh, the thing is that comparative study they asked uh, why you did not keep control people are not understanding when they compare two groups one group uh, becomes automatically controlled it is not so for example treatment x treatment y no treatment or placebo treatment like that one group should be there okay so it is only comparative study you don't keep control so when you don't keep control it becomes a simple clinical trial it is not clinical control trial it is not random if you don't randomize the patient and allocation if you don't do it does not become randomized control trial so individual should understand ct cct and rct so they think that if they use intervention and they do with measurement with two outcome measures uh, pre and post uh, okay then it is called experimental study no it is called quasi experimental study quasi experimental study means you don't follow any of the principles of randomization and other things okay it is not a pure experimental research so try to understand ct cct and rct okay if you do only comparative study that is only clinical trial it is not a clinical control trial or randomized control trial so you have to give importance to randomization control like that many principles are there that you have to follow you must have seen with the pedro scale uh, critical appraisal tool 11 point appraisal tool for every thing one one mark they give in that randomization allocation selection criteria one one mark is there if you don't follow all these things properly then you your uh, rct that what do you do experimental study will die there they will give out of uh, 11 they will give you four marks only then it will not be eligible for getting included in any systematic review okay so that is the important thing so it is a, a junk uh, produced there so we have to understand what is Uh, rct what is cct what is ct so everything is going to be there with the design itself so design you have to know the principles of design okay the take home message from the research design is understanding different types of research designs already i mentioned you so find out whether you are going to do quantitative or qualitative or mixed method designs in that what are the study types are there different types of studies are there okay uh, different different studies are there okay you have to understand all these kind of studies gradually one by one one by one you have to add your knowledge in that uh, particular area okay we should not think that only pre post two groups only is a study design that study design is called quasi experimental design so we should know how to make a true experimental research design that is the uh, take home message for the physiotherapist from this research design okay next one is sample design the important three points are there sample size sampling error sampling distribution these are the key points which i wanted to mention you sample size we all have problem with the sample size then we have problem why we have to calculate the sample size okay 30 is a small sample or 30 is a big sample this is the problem okay according to statistics 30 itself is a large sample in statistics it is called a large sample 30 plus is a large sample less than 30 only small sample okay why sample is very important to see even a minute uh, effect if you take less people for example you want to know among the two uh, who is the best person you have to search both of them you have to analyze okay but if your 1000 people are there okay you are not going to check everyone okay one or two only you check it is like how you check the rice whether it is boiled or not like that okay sample size is that it is going to be having some impact on uh, whether you could able to find out even a small effect also there that should be found for that what is the main problem we need a little bit of large sample size is necessary if we have small number only large effect okay jo ang se pata chalta hai wahi pata chalega okay but uh, if you i have to use statistical test you need little more sample is necessary so always try to use proper sample size calculation you can use uh, many kind of tools and all available now okay you can contact your um, uh, what you call uh, statistical help you can take it's very easy only 
to some extent you have to go a little further okay a lot of terminologies we have to use and it may be boring and it is out of the focus of this particular session so sample size is very important if you don't have enough sample size your effect what really is there you may miss it actually your intervention is giving effect but you could not able to detect it so your detection fails as a detective you fail there not because of your efforts because of less sample size so always try to collect uh, correct uh, uh, detect uh, what you call uh, calculate proper sample size and do the research then sampling error what is sampling error when we do the sample okay we have uh, different sampling types probability sampling non probability sampling what we do if we at all we have to do back pain immediately we go to a clinic and we take whoever comes we take as a patient and we say 30 ho gaya 15 male 15 female like that all these things we can do no we should not do because that is going to make lot of errors so errors in research no observational error non observational error this is all uh, sampling error is a non observational error your decision itself making wrong so you are doing already wrong so definitely when you do a statistical test you uh, take standard error we all calculate mean standard deviation next to that in the table one thing is the standard error we don't calculate that always we neglect that that standard error is one important thing when you make lot of error there it will show the standard uh, sampling error will be a part of your standard error standard error ke andar sampling error bhi hoga so your research design sampling uh, problem okay whatever your design problem is there everything is going to contribute to your error so definitely if you don't do proper sampling sampling error will increase this sampling error will increase your standard error okay because it is a collection of observational and non observational errors both okay that is uh, the experimenter doing mistake or the experiment is doing mistake like that both the, the design as well as the experimenter if both do mistake that is called total error okay the third one is sampling distribution what is sampling distribution whenever we do a sample and we collect some uh, data and we do some test uh, everyone is thinking that it is a mathematical problem we are going to get a mean is there any mean difference for between the groups if difference is there it is there no we are not doing research for that purpose we are doing for sampling distribution what is that for example i do a research with 10 people okay i got a mean like that 10 10 10 like that 100 samples if i take if i take 100 samples of 10 subjects every sample will be getting a mean correct the mean of 1 mean 2 mean 3 mean 100 that you place it that is called the sampling distribution can we do that we cannot do that for example if at all we have to do a research we cannot go and select 100 low back pain 100 low back pain 100 low like that no 100 100 low back pain means 10000 people we have to take the data is it possible no which method we use chawal pak gaya nahi hai kaisa check karte hai ek hi chawal ko utane ka that is what we do we take only one sample from the one sample we calculate a statistic from the statistics we create a parameter बाकी सैंपल में मैंने ये कर दिया और 99 सैंपलिंग में द मीन विल बी बिटवीन दिस एंड दैट आई राइट एंड गिव यू यू डू 99 सैंपल्स एंड यू कलेक्ट अ मीन दैट मीन विल बी डेफिनेटली योर नंबर ओनली व्हाट नंबर यू गिव द कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल व्हाट यू गिव सो आवर सैंपल मीन एंड स्टैटिस्टिक्स इज नॉट फॉर ओनली फॉर दैट सैंपल देन वी कैन यूज आवर रिसर्च एविडेंस ओनली फॉर द 30 पीपल ऑन हुम वी डिड रिसर्च दैट इज नॉट द रोल ऑफ रिसर्च रियली what is the real research research is for the general eligibility we have to give it to the world so we cannot cover the entire world that is what we do we cover only one we find out for the other 99 that is what is our role so that is what is sampling distribution you must have heard about t distribution f distribution is a distribution all are different types of distributions okay sampling distributions so what for we do sample what for we do statistic what for we do statistical difference to get the parameter parameter is for population so if we use proper sampling distributions t test f test jo lagana chahiye wo laga ke test karna hai then only generalizability will be there otherwise general ability will be a problem so sampling you have to understand sample size importance sampling error importance 
sampling distributions important these are all the important points in the sampling what is your take home message as a beginner or learner uh, whoever many people may be there i don't know what is the audience everyone should know about probability sampling and non probability sampling okay what is probability sampling it is a good for experimental study a true experimental study what is non probability sampling sometimes we if you are doing a survey you no need to do probability you have, can go for a non probability it is called purposive sampling convenient sampling quota sampling snowball sampling like that okay that you can do it here that is this, this picture for example you can see the down picture uh, uh, do you believe in the death penalty for that you no need to do a randomization of the sampling ye question ke liye it is a survey question take the mic go everywhere ask the people what do you think what do you is your opinion what is your opinion then you know? okay for that you no need to do probability sampling non probability sampling will do but probability sampling is the important key point in physiotherapy research especially experimental research as we are doing 95 percentage only experimental research people uh, should use this sampling okay for your kind information i have worked in many this one but i have worked as co author only till today i have not done any one experimental study on my own as a researcher independent researcher i have not done a single randomized study or a experimental study on my own because it is very difficult really it is very very difficult if at all we have to do and produce the result and publish the result it may take 2 to 3 years actually speaking okay a true experimental research is a really time taking event pain taking event definitely okay in the from the picture only you can understand that this is called a simple random sampling okay nothing you have a simple random generate number generators are there uh, in the what do you call mobile just you type uh, calculator is there you have to just say that i want to use 100 patients 100 is my sample size 100 dalo 100 ko kya karega two groups i want to create so wo automatically aapko create karke dega number jo number jisme hai that those people will be in that particular group understand but uh, you may be thinking that for example example uh, mere ko 50 patient chahiye sir so what i do sir first patient idhar jata hai second patient idhar jata hai that is not random sampling you are deviating odd number even number male female hai na pehle aaya idhar next aaya udhar aisa nahi karna hai that's all the things are called non randomized sampling then your study will die there you cannot use the word randomized okay you have to use a simple random generator so this simple random generator is for every study no your question will tell you what kind of randomization you have to use some most of the time simple randomization is not enough sometimes you have to go for a what you call uh, systematic uh, this one see every third person 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that systematic uh, uh, randomization okay here you see it is stratified random sampling what is stratified random sampling women men men may be three here women may be three here so we are giving importance to gender also so when you have something you have to randomize then you have to allocate the gender also so it's all things no you have to uh, sincerely do hypothetically if you do you cannot use the word randomization this is called cluster randomization see these many areas are there for example malaria they are checking with one area otherwise now covid they are checking with one area uh, these are the blocks created by the corporation okay what they do the way we selected people they select the particular block one block together block number 5 total 500 uh, patients are there all 500 will be checked 16 okay there are uh, some 700 patients are there all 700 will be checked like that that is called cluster randomization okay these are all very very important okay we mostly do simple randomization only in physiotherapy but we have to understand what is our question and how we can uh, select the sample okay that is important then till now whatever we discussed why we have to do this is the point to create external validity construct validity internal validity and conclusion validity if you don't do proper sampling you cannot generalize already i told you if you don't measure some people they use surrogate measures what is surrogate measures for example you are giving a treatment exact measurement will be one they will take a quality of life scale 
आगे पीछे क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ इंप्रूव हुआ लाइक दैट दे विल प्रूव बाय प्रूविंग क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ यू कैन नॉट क्लेम दैट द इंटरवेंशन इज गोइंग टू रिलीव पेन यू गॉट माय पॉइंट ओके सो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली यू आर मेजरिंग यू आर यूजिंग द प्रॉपर टूल्स आउटकम मेजर स्टैंडर्डाइज्ड टूल्स रिलायबल टूल्स वैलिड टूल्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अदरवाइज कंस्ट्रक्ट वैलिडिटी ऑफ योर स्टडी इटसेल्फ डाइज देयर ओके इफ द रिसर्च डिजाइन इज नॉट गुड internal validity is not there that already i told you so your problem should tell what is the research design proper design you have not created there is no internal validity of your design itself if you don't do proper statistical analysis you cannot conclude because the deductive this is the person deductive person you are going to recruit they have to deduct interpret and you have to understand then only you can conclude otherwise you will see only numbers okay analysis is only interpretation and that is, through that only you are going to give conclusion so if you lose these areas errors you make in this area you are going to lose this kind of validities external validity construct validity internal validity and conclusion validity okay that is the take home message for the whole thing okay uh, little bit uh, another 5 10 minutes i will finish okay next to research proposal because these things are a little bit lengthier thing i cannot uh, say much about this okay research proposal when everything is ready you have to write it and you have to just submit it somewhere they will go through it and they will say yes okay ethical approval research committee approval etc etc government approval bahut sare cheez there for that you have to write the research proposal you have to write the research proposal is just a research article minus discussion minus results like that you can take it without result and discussion whatever is there that is called research proposal so research proposal you have done properly for 80% of the research already done only discussion of you have to write then you have to follow the format mostly they will give you the format for example if you are going to apply indian institute of science in future for a research फिजियोथेरापी में कुछ करना है इंटर डिसिप्लिनरी रिसर्च करना है दैट फॉर्मेट इज देयर यू गो टू देयर साइट द फॉर्मेट विल बी देयर इन दैट फॉर्मेट यू हैव टू फिल एंड यू हैव टू सेंड इट देन रिसर्च गाइडलाइंस आर अवेलेबल फॉर स्टूडेंट्स एंड ऑल नो डब्ल्यूएचओ गाइडलाइंस आर देयर इन द नेट आई हैव रिटन इन माय बुक आल्सो यू कैन जस्ट डाउनलोड इट एंड यू कैन रीड व्हाट टू राइट इन ईच एंड एवरी एरिया सो दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो रिसर्च इज अ मिनी प्रपोजल फॉर्मेट शुड बी फॉलोड अकॉर्डिंग टू द area where you are applying guidelines should be followed okay what to write in each and everything content okay this is the important thing what will be there this is the structure of a research proposal for the students okay the all these things already we have discussed the last two things you can just carry home budget feasibility and schedule time schedule so everything whatever you are planning to do you have to write with the timing okay for example review of the literature i will do for one month Uh, research design two weeks sample design one week uh, data collection two months okay uh, research uh, analysis and inter inter interpretation statistical analysis and preparation one month discussion writing two months like that you have to make a schedule time wise for example phd and all you will get one and a half years for all these things okay aage piche wo permission ho sab mein thoda time nikal jayega so one and a half years mein you have to plan it and give a schedule to them and how much budget will be necessary kitna paisa iske kharcha hoga mostly in india may be write self finance there we are only going to spend money but if at all you are going to do for some grand and all you are going to try that time you have to plan it every patient test time kitna hoga money kitna hoga economy everything you have to plan it and you have to give that so research proposal is that it is not only this uh, academic part it has got some administrative part also it's very important okay you are supposed to be very very uh, knowledgeable in all these areas okay uh, next one once all these things done we have to do a small pilot study i already i told you pilot study means uh, using two three people uh, you just uh, check your outcome measures and you just to see whether the intervention is working uh, before and after like that okay these pilot studies are very much helpful to calculate the effect size so they will give you one rough idea how much effect my treatment is going to give then they may be little more helpful in sample size deduction pilot study me se jo mean standard deviation milta hai usko use karke you can uh, decide your sample size calculation by doing interim analysis and all then 
pilot study is not a hypothesis testing but you cannot test the hypothesis by testing applying a test you cannot say that this is going to work or not it is not so and the result cannot be generalized but by pilot studies also can be published but you cannot generalize the results because it is not the true study okay these are the important points so points effect size calculation sample size calculation okay but it cannot be uh, used as a uh, real study but you can bu publish your pilot study also so pilot study is also not a waste one you can even publish that okay what is the take home message try it if you are uh, if you are having any problem with your outcome measures measurements not working okay you have get some failures then abandon the research then refine your question that is the thing so pilot study will tell you is there any feasibility practically everything is possible data collection mein kuch takleef hoga nahi hoga everything at the end if you find any problem correct it and start the research otherwise if the problem is a major one you have to throw your research and you have to restart again okay that is the take home message if you find more negative results from your pilot study okay data collection you have to use proper outcome measures okay that is the number one point use all these things you must have heard about reliability and validity okay based on that you will be selecting the outcome tools okay uh, for example roland morris disability questionnaire understand um spadi shoulder arm disability index like that uh, what is the reliability validity 80% above is that that tool you have to use then you have to collect the data whether the data is collected how what kind of scales you are going to enter yes or no nominal good or bad ordinal okay mild moderate severe numerical weight of the patient 80 kg understand so the data when you write the outcome measure score you have to know that whether it is a nominal data ordinal data or numerical data if you don't know whether it is a nominal data ordinal data numerical data you go to the statistician and you say that i have measured of many outcome measures my scores are there you do something you find out the relation there we always say that you find out the they say simply t test karo chhod do mere ko like that you have to explain them in their own terminology they understand only a nominal variable ordinal variable numerical variable you have to say that my one variable is this another variable is this i want to compare this nominal to this numerical then they understand what is the real statistical test they have to do okay this is very very important then measurement error already in the previous section only i explained you error of observation and the non observation when we use goniometer if the experimenter is wrong what happens we make error if the goniometer itself uh, not proper one standard one error that is observation error another one is non observation error so design may problem hai that is non observation error if you have any instrumental problem uh looking at the things may problem a researcher may that all called observation error so we have to try to keep observation error less and non observation error less okay so data should be without errors you should know the type of data whether it is nominal ordinal or numerical and you have to use proper outcome measures very very important proper outcome measures okay you have to use it so this is what is the take home message for you use valid and reliable outcome measures okay you have to type any outcome measure you are going to use you type reliability and validity of spadi reliability and validity of brief best questionnaire reliability and validity of sf statistics reliability and validity of fall efficacy scale type karo that mother article will come in that you have to see if they have very good reliability and validity more than 70% 80% that is 0.8 0.7 and above then only you have to use the tool otherwise they are not reliable outcome measures got it and you have to use the latest one criterion validity so there are many things are there it will be time consuming just to have a look okay then statistical analysis very important study design scale of measurement type of data sample size so whatever i told previously that only i have written here we cannot do proper statistics if you don't have sample proper enough sample size if you don't know what is the type of data nominal ordinal or numerical if you don't tell us the design what design you have followed if you tell all these things to the statistician then only we will use the software otherwise we cannot use the software so when you have the problem in making us understand this three we could not able to do proper statistics 
So most of the statistics with only t test, it ends. Okay, right? The take home message uh, before that, these are the different type of tests. For example, numerical data, two groups you are using, more than 30 sample sizes there. That is a large sample. Then you can use a parametric test. That parametric test is called the unpaired t test. If more than two groups are there, you have to use ANOVA. Okay. If you have less than 30 sample, or the sample is uh, not, not normally distributed, normality is not achieved, then you have to go for a non parametric test. Two groups, Man Whitney U test. Okay. More than two groups, Wilcoxon or Criscal Valley's rank test you have to use. Okay. Categorical data SR no versus SR no. Patient died. Uh, improvement, no improvement, good and bad, like that. If you want to compare two SR no, good and bad together, there you can use this test, sky, sky scores test. Okay, if the number of sample is less, then you have to go for Fisher's exact test. Okay, uh, chi square is a parametric as well as non parametric test. It can be used in both the categories. Okay, if you want to address uh, difference between the groups, but they are paired, that is pre post. Same sample before and after. Okay, if you want to compare more than 30 sample sizes, the large sample normality is present, then you have to use paired t test. If more than two groups, you have to use a repeated measure ANOVA. What do you have to use? Repeated measure ANOVA. For example, uh, pre reading, post May, four weeks, eight weeks, and 12 weeks. Like that, they take three different times, they take. Then you have to go for ANOVA, repeated measure ANOVA. So if the level of measurements are more, then you have to go for a repeated measure ANOVA, right? For the same numerical data, if it is non-parametric, less than 30 sample size is there, only two groups are there, you have to use Wilcoxon, matched pair test. Okay, if more than two groups are there, you have to go for a Friedman's ANOVA. You have to go and do Friedman's ANOVA. For a categorical data, two groups, McNamere test. If the number is less, Number of cases are less, then you have to go for a McNamus exact test. Okay. Categorical, this one, you have to go for Cochran's uh, test. Okay. That is written here. All these things are very, uh, we, uh, normally we don't use in physiotherapy very less. Okay. All right. We mostly use these things only. Numerical data, numerical data. Sometimes uh, we use categorical data. So we mostly use chi-square test. If 30 sample size, 30 and above, parametric. 30 and below, non parametric test normality is there parametric test normality is not there non parametric test okay two groups more than two groups okay more than two groups anova less than two groups t test or is a test we do you got my point what i am telling this is what is the way we work so the statistics is mostly working on whether the data is numerical categorical uh, ordinal uh, what do you call paired unpaired size of the sample normality of the distribution based on that only statistics works this is what you have to understand so whenever you explain your teachers or statisticians you tell that this is what is my measurement i want to compare with this measurement i want to compare categorical versus numerical numerical versus numerical ordinal versus ordinal numerical versus numerical if you say in that way the statistician will easily understand and they will do the right test for you but if you just send the Excel sheet to them, they don't understand anything because numbers, no one understands, including the statistician. No one understands. Okay, it's very difficult. Okay, right? Then is there any association? Sometimes you want to have a relationship, correlation, positive, negative correlation, like that. There, if you have a parametric Pearson, you have to use. Okay, if it is a non-parametric, less than 30 sample, you have to use Pearman's rank test for a numerical data. If it is a categorical data, you have to use risk ratio, chi-square logistic regression, odds ratio, and risk ratio. This is what they use. This risk ratio and odds ratio, why it is used in medical research, for example, health research, public health research, epidemiological research. There, the problem is death, malaria, death hota hai, death nahi hota hai. This is malaria, yes, no, death, yes, no, like that. So one yes, no versus another yes, no. There only they use risk ratio and odds ratio. If you study epidemiological studies, mostly abstract may RR, OD, or OR, like that will be there. People get confused. RR, OR, confidence interval. This only will be there. We get confused. What is this? 
it is nothing they have compared it to categorical variables that is why they are getting the risk ratio if the risk ratio is more than 1 it supports less than 1 it does not support whatever it is whatever you measure whether you are measuring the death or you are measuring the improvement okay right if it is a numerical data okay uh, if you are using the questionnaires lamba lamba questionnaires you are using there you have to use intra correlation coefficient icc okay wherever you use pearson you can use icc the same thing if you are using categorical data you have to use kogans it is called agreement uh, where you use this particular thing reliability validity research intra rater reliability inter rater reliability like that you must have agreement between two times or between two people that time you have to use this kind of test kogans hapa and the icc okay right further whatever is uh, comes in your mind you can ask me later okay these are the important softwares available at present time some softwares are free also for example minitab it is free you can use it winpp software is there it is also free you can just download for your windows just you download and you can only everything is given here you will have two groups t test you click here then you go you type the data like that everything is there just you have to explore every day one by one one by one you have to click and go it is it is free it is a epidemiological uh, software okay so you just type bin peppy for windows 7 download ho jayega just you have to install and you can use it very easy okay spss is there stata is there r studio excel sas ap info ap info also free only so ap info win peppy mini tab okay spss and all not free but you can you can get some pirated versions or some other versions like that okay but these two softwares are free at home only you can download and install okay free softwares are there okay uh, the, we have come to the end point of the thing reporting research when we report the research we have to follow imr ad format introduction methods result and analysis okay that format only will be there to go to the concerned journal site there they will be having the instruction manual okay download the instruction manual accordingly you have to arrange okay then they have the mechanics of writing there will be a plenty of things what should be the font size uh, what type of reference style you have to use uh, how the table supposed to be uh, whether you have to justify rakhna hai center rakhna hai so regarding the font size mein se leke 12 rakhna hai 14 rakhna hai table kaisa hona chahiye confusion hai kaisa hona chahiye so every detail it is called the mechanics of writing the instruction may vary according to the journal okay but mostly mostly in medical research we use vancouver style okay with font size 12 okay times roman that is what we normally use okay this is a great work actually this is called dtp work mechanics of writing in dtp work we have to understand if we don't understand there going to be a problem because we cannot have get help from the people gradually we have to learn this also as a researcher okay when you are submitting you have to follow the international uh, committee for medical journal editors okay they have given a guideline this icmje.org guidelines only most of the journals they are following for example our iap journal also following the icmje guidelines only you have to download it will be of some seven eight pages it will say mention how to write introduction how to write uh, methods what should be there in the abstract kitna words hona chahiye word limitation 300 words 3000 words introduction how much every detail will be there in that okay till now whatever we have discussed it is just one just you download and read this if you read whatever i told till now everything they will ask for it if all those things you are supposed to uh, what do you call uh, mention in your uh, research okay research report me aapko mention karna padega these are the important follow the format proper format should be followed format may be different for different journals little bit some kind of uh, wordings for example in the name of introduction they may use background okay in some uh, journal they will use method some journal they will use methodology like that all those things you have to mechanics of writing guidelines for reporting is very very important so what is the take home message okay when you read articles research articles beware of poor reporting these are all the real poor reporting okay all right for example if you take 
out of uh, 10 6 out of 10 7 6 and 7 is not improvement only but if you use your excel sheet bar graph if you make okay if you take the x axis 10 o x is then x axis group and you make it 6 will be here 7 will be there by look for looking no it will be like there is a huge difference so by using some kind of bar graphs a line graphs okay pictorial representations okay they will make it as a very big thing very big means very big thing they will make okay especially if you want to see these kind of things no you can see watch advertisements most of the advertisements are misleading only everything they will put pictures and videos okay expressions all these are called the poor reporting what is that poor reporting we will perceive in a different manner but really that will be different you got me point what i am telling for example now also they are telling now 50 percent 90 percent people affected covid like that many things many medical report also will be there in the papers you can see that but exactly if you see now you will get the terrified but they will say that after 80 percent of the indians are affected the uska madhalab 80 crore people affected hai. it is not so it is not so okay this many people are using uh, what do you call they will say that hand sanitizer 90 percent of the indians are using hand sanitizer then it is that 90 crore people are using sanitizer no this is the way they will make you the proportion they will make it okay and uh, recently also they told no two lakhs uh, birth going to happen two lakhs babies will come uh, in the covid situation like that also all these things are proportions uh, then they told these many cases are going to be there in the month of may and june it did not happen all these things are a kind of prediction with the poor reporting so jo data available hai, uske se, sometimes poor reporting bhi hota hai. so we should not take everything as a good reporting we have to know what is poor reporting how they poorly reported the uh, numbers in the research these are all the important points one by one explaining will be a problem and time consuming okay uh, just to you have it anybody personally you can just uh, ask me gradually you also can read and understand about all these things so always whenever you hear something find out whether it is real true okay try to understand the numbers okay uh, thank you very much and uh, you can put your questions i hand over to pranita madam Thank you, Tangamani sir. Uh, yes, was, sir. Suresh, sir. Uh, Thank you. It was really interesting. You had uh, made the thing. Actually, research is something like uh, mathematics for science persons, uh, you know. Yes, and sir. it used to be a very dry subject to teach, but you had made it in a, such an interesting manner. Well, uh, at every junction, you had some take-home message also. Wonderful, sir. It's really commendable. Well, uh, now may uh, request... Uh, Pranita, madam, to take the share the questions with sir. I think for next 10 minutes more, we can have the question sections. We had about 18 questions, so you had to pick up yes, the most important questions. There, is a, sir, there yeah. is a flood of uh, questions. Sir. Okay, so other questions, we can forward uh, sir, it to Sangamani sir later. And uh, we'll get it in a PDF form, sir, if it is convenient to you. And then we can share it in the group as Definitely, so, sir. Okay, yes. okay, thank you, sir. So main questions, down, uh, thank you, sir. Thank you so much, Suresh, sir. Uh, thank you so much, Sangamani, sir. The session was really very crisp, clear, and a very informative session. And we need uh, some more sessions like this. Research is something that is very, very difficult for everyone to understand. So, sir, I just want to put your uh, <laughs> towards some uh, question and answer, sir. Uh, Vivek Swaru, he is asking that please guide how to do the sample size calculation. I think already you have covered a bit of it, sir. Uh, he is saying how to do the sample size calculation. This sample size calculation, uh, the person who asked the, is a student or a researcher. Vivek Swaru. He's so a faculty. Just, uh, faculty. Oh, okay. Actually, sample size depends upon the type of the research design. Number one. Number one, you have to find out whether you are going to compare the means or compare the proportion. But in physiotherapy, I assume most probably it is comparing the mean. Okay. So what uh, what are the ways there to calculate a sample size? Simple uh, thumb rule, I will tell you. If your one tool before and after, 
before the intervention and after the intervention if you can create a large effect for example i take nprs okay before the treatment the average was 8 after the treatment uh, the pain reduced to 2 so total gain is 6 okay it is a huge difference if the difference is huge the sample size needed will be very less if the difference is very less for example before the treatment 8 out of 10 scale after the treatment 7 out of 10 it is only one improvement then you need a large sample size only large sample size only can detect the small effect the large effect can be detected by a small sample size indirectly what i want to say is the mean difference as a researcher what you are going to aim that will make you comfortable with your sample size why everyone is asking sample size when they go for calculation by putting some numbers what uh, it will ask the software is the g power you go there and you put it it will ask a group how many groups two groups okay what is the effect size you keep the effect size 0.5 medium effect size you keep you don't keep 0.2 0.2 is small effect size then you it will show large sample size then it will ask uh, what is 1 minus beta that is power of the study you keep 80% or 0.8 you have to keep 0.8 so 80% power alpha is 0.05 okay effect size is 0.5 or 0.6 you can keep medium size you have to keep okay then group two groups or three groups you have to type then it will ask mean of group 1 and mean of group 2 you have to type then it will ask standard deviation then mean a standard deviation of the group 1 standard deviation of the group 2 add together get the average that is called pooled standard deviation that you put it so to calculate a sample size you need alpha you need beta these two things are already you have you need effect size already i told you 0.5 or 0.6 effect size you keep and you need mean group 1 that you may get from your pilot study okay and a standard deviation pooled standard deviation that also you may get from your pilot study you place it there and click it will show the sample size okay but what i am telling if your pilot study is producing only one effect then you have to as a researcher you have to know kitna effect ke liye aap aim kar rahe ho how much you are aiming i want i aim between the numerical pain scale mein difference mere ko at least to 300 to aayega sir mera intervention aur control group ke beech mein theme to pakka aayega then you have to keep a mean difference in such a way in one group 7 you keep other group you keep 4 then the difference is 3 like that you have to keep you have to just uh, what do you call assume and you have to keep it we don't want exact one as a researcher you have the right to do that you can assume how much effect you are expecting then you have to sample calculate if you are calculating in that way you have to calculate it again after the research done with uh, number of uh, patients uh, okay you have to do it again you must have got the same mean difference if you are getting less then your sample size calculation is wrong if your effect is more than what you have calculated then you have taken more sample size you understand what i am telling for example you are aiming for three difference your sample size is 30 after the research you produce only two difference uh, then your sample size is less okay if you are aimed for um, uh, 30 patients uh, 3 but you have got 4.5 difference came between the groups uh, then your 30 patient sample is large it is justifiable you got my point what i am telling so for sample size calculation for a mean comparison uh, study you need alpha and beta effect size mean of group 1 mean of group 2 pooled standard deviation these are the important things necessary to calculate g power it is also free you can download just you can ring me i can guide you you can calculate at your home no problem very simple thank you so much sir uh, one anonymous attendee have asked that what is the uh, importance of dependent and non dependent variables and how it affects statistics uh, this uh, dependent and independent variables actually uh, if the, the dependent variable is for example what is going to change because of your uh, treatment intervention can be called as called as independent variable because that is set by the experimenter okay any experimental study the intervention is called a independent variable uh, what is changing the pain is called a dependent variable but the pain is not changing only due to the independent variable your treatment it may change because of time also 
एज यू आर देर फॉर थ्री डेज थ्री डेज के बाद अच्छा होता ही है कम्स टूडे यू डोंट टेक मेडिसिन आल्सो इट बिकम्स ऑल राइट टुमारो इट इज कॉल्ड द कॉन्फाउंडिंग फैक्टर्स लाइक दैट मेनी फैक्टर्स आर देयर दैट शुड बी कंट्रोल्ड व्हेन यू डू अ ट्रू एक्सपेरिमेंटल स्टडी दैट इज व्हाट वी आर टेलिंग ओके वी ऑलवेज थिंक दैट इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल वी डायरेक्टली रिलेट एंड वी प्रोड्यूस सम रिजल्ट्स देयर बट समटाइम्स पेशेंट मे बी टेकिंग सम अदर ट्रीटमेंट एट होम मे बी कंज्यूमिंग सम अदर मेडिसिंस okay many things are there so these are called control that is what i told in the research uh, this one design may randomization and control when you are doing a real experimental study you are supposed to keep other uh, things okay that is that uh, other variables under what you call control mein rakhna chahiye rakhe karenge then only the iv will be directly showing the influence on the dv okay iv is what is said by the researcher dv is what is changing for example headache headache is dependent variable the paracetamol tablet is independent variable other than that you have some extraneous variables are also there which are playing outside the game that also should be considered and controlled this is what the real issue of research actually speaking that makes research very very particular sometimes some results no we could not able to rely on okay this question is a very good question okay this kind of variables uh it is all uh, you have to go very inside okay definitely we have to control that other variables apart from the independent variable for a true experimental study uh so again this uh, there is dr sadbhavna dadia and uh, she want to ask uh, so please explain simple random sampling by given an example okay simple random sampling i want i have uh, 10 patients i want to make it into two groups okay so i put it in the random generator each group i will get five patients okay five patients only each group i want but i cannot keep one number number 1 group a number 2 uh, group b number 3 group a i told this is not randomization what is randomization for example i will make uh, 10 uh, chit in one particular container okay lottery method i will put it i will just shake it then i will ask a child to come and take it you take five chits you take five chits for the experimental group the girl will come and it will pick up five chits i open number 7 for whom group a then number 1 group a number 3 group a number 8 group a number uh, 10 group a jo bhi left out hai that will go to group b you understand what i am telling so i had some numbers five numbers but five numbers are not in order not in sequence this is called a simple random sampling this one if you want to do it for a large group you have the calculators you go and tell that your total sample size is 100 two groups then it will give group a this 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 number this 25 numbers in group 1 this 25 numbers in group 2 so when you get a first patient whether the patient goes to group a or group b is decided by the random generator we have not decided okay but the non randomization mein how we do number 1 udhar jao number 2 udhar jao that we decided that become biased you got my point so the number 1 patient should go for group a it is not guaranteed the first patient for group a may be seventh number first six patients may go all to may go to second group also group b also You got my point. What is random uh, generator? So uh, three, seven, ten, nine, eight. That is group A. Baki numbers in group B. So as patients are coming, I give patient number. Patient ke liye subject ke liye number de dete hai. We give patient number one, patient number two. Jo patient number hai, that patient number will be taken for that group only, not for the other group. You got my point. What I am telling? This is what is known as simple randomization. you can use a simple lottery method or a simple random uh, calculator generator you know calculator you can use random number calculator you can use it mobile app also nowadays available very simple and easy okay uh, so there is uh, one question from grishma agrawal in the going sampling she want to ask what if randomly in a group a more females comes and opposite in b uh, for example uh, female and male sometimes most of the time we confuse with that there is no issue really your theory should support that 
for example nowadays also we are comparing female versus male in some conditions and all no it is useless because nowadays females and males all are having the same physiology and all are doing the same thing then there is no thing even after if you really feel that there is going to be a gender difference you have to go for a stratified random sampling what you are supposed to do that's what i explained you you have to do stratified random sampling in that particular group you have to mention this many uh, females and this many males weight age should happen till that time you are supposed to have that particular sampling going on for example you are doing a simple random jo bhi number aaya that person is not uh, this many females are not achieved you have to keep taking the patient you got me fun what i am telling so your random number generator will become long so suddenly for example after 3 months group b must have achieved uh, 25 males and 25 females but group 1 not achieved then you have to keep taking keep taking jaisa patient aata hai till that time you complete you have to go for the data that is the important thing it's very difficult that is why they say that if you go for a stratified random sampling and all it is difficult that is why we tell that simple random you do like that you got my point what i am telling really you want to give weight age your workload field work will increase definitely you have to do thank you sir and there is one more participant uh, he is asking that uh, can you please clarify the difference between shaporeville test and ks test for normality ah normality when we should use it ah okay kolmogorov test or uh, saprovic test if the sample size is uh, less less than 100 you can use saprovic if it is more than 100 you can use kolmogorov suminov test for normality normality p value more than 0.05 there is normality In the test of normality p value is always opposite P value ज़्यादा होना चाहिए. P value should be more than 0.05, then there is normality. If P value is less than uh, 0.05, then there is no normality of the data. Okay. Kolmogorov is for more than 100 large sample size. Saprovic is for small sample size. But in the SPSS under it gives for a small sample, large sample it gives both the result. You will get Saprovic on the left side, Kolmogorov on the right side. Whatever you want, you can use it. It is not that much, but if you want really. Uh, sir, am I audible? Yes, yes, madam. Sure. Uh, uh, one question from an anonymous attendee is: What is the uh, nominal data and what is ordinal data? Uh, nominal means uh, uh, that's what yes or no, uh, yeah, yeah, death no death, uh, uh, improvement no improvement. That is nominal. categorical a type of categorical data okay the ordinal is it is in grades okay first rank second rank third rank fourth rank definitely there is something mild pain moderate pain severe pain there is some difference between the pain scale no mild pain means less than 2 moderate pain 2 to 6 severe pain 6 to 10 so this is called ordinal ordinal means in order ranks it is called that's why the text test also wilcoxon rank test rank okay ranks it will be You got my point. Definitely, it is something different. Mild, moderate, severe. That is something different with the values. Okay, but nominal is only categorical. Okay, like like that. Okay. And another thing, categorical may uh, you can say that, for example, why they must have got confused with that. Sometimes we have different, uh, more than two categories also. Okay, that time only we call it as category. Nominal is one of the category, but categorical is, uh, for example. Uh, primary education secondary education higher secondary education undergraduation post graduation this is the category of patients education okay that but in that order is not there there is no need to follow order sometimes without order also you may get categories this is called the multi category like that also we do category for example um, uh, white uh, white color job uh, housewife like that categories also we can give that also two three comes but that is not ordinal you don't take it as ordinal that is a category only in statistics we consider is in the nominal only nominal tarike consider karke we take uh, to, to do the test for that you no need to worry about that that is what they must have asked this question uh, two is okay if more than two also there are category yes it is there correct only ordinal and category only that is the difference ordinal may there is a difference in the rank the values are different but the category may just a classification it is not a ranks Got it? 
that is the difference between this and that the one participant uh, minu sutter is asking how can we get to know that the research we is reviewing is a good kind of research research review how we can find out it is a good research whatever we discussed today that you have to do for a research article which you are reading we should not read the introduction abstract and conclusion and tell that i know i you know i came to know about the research no whatever we have told you do you work out the number in the article you put in your calculator find out everything whether everything is okay whatever they have not done that also you can verify it for that only nowadays that ig ic mj you know editor that uh, guideline they have given everything in some uh, articles and all no research publication they don't accept without confidence interval if you have the mean difference bracket may you have to have the confidence interval they don't accept only with the p value nowadays they are asking exact p value you code it like that many guidelines they have given to avoid poor what do you call reporting so definitely reviewing the article is like nothing but doing the article uh, doing the research again you have to do the research from your concerns again you have to do you have to check each and every part whatever we have discussed whether those things are there or not okay that particular thing only called critical appraisal for that also we have critical appraisal tools download the tool the tool says that you do you check like this you check it and you have to give the mark out of the this much this much mark this particular article scored that is why this is reliable or not reliable for example petro scale petro scale is there it is for rct 11 point scale if any by any rb rct scores more than 7 then only it is considered as a good article okay in the right side only it is there okay in the petro if when you search no it will come okay even in the systematic review they uh, they use some kind of tools and they say that out uh, based on this particular uh, critical appraisal tool my article included where above this score below this score were eliminated from the systematic review like that it will be there so definitely they critically appraise uh, review it for that also number is there it is called the assessment of the research research reviews okay there are plenty that is systematic review meta analysis and all that only research of research whether researchers they have done the research properly whether we can rely it on that research only is that okay definitely we have to use it so you have to critically appraise the article according to the type of the article okay if he wants to critically appraise he can go to casp site okay critical appraisal skills program in uk www.casp.com okay there uh, you have the different tools for different uh, uh article types even in my book also i have given all the name of that thing okay pedro scale strobe amstram many tools are there you know they can use and they can critically review the article yes thank you so much sir uh, there are a lot of questions Uh, which are un unanswered, but we are stuck by the time. And uh, as uh, Suresh sir said, that uh, every question will be answered in the manner sir said. Okay, so the participants, please uh, have the patience. You will get to know all your uh, all the queries answered. Okay, and uh, as because of the technical fault, I could not uh, welcome. Uh, Suresh sir, uh, nicely, sir. I'm. I apologize. No, and no, no. Sir, please <laughs> don't mention. Suresh sir is the guest of honor for today's session, and uh, he is principal of People's College and ex vice chancellor of People University Bhopal MP. Ah, uh, in the research team, Suresh sir is the central zonal chairperson. Thank you so much, sir. And he he was my teacher in uh, bachelor's <laughs> in Rajiv Gandhi College. He taught us amputee neuro with full Z. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, thank you, uh, madam. Uh, well, once again, I would like to uh, thank Tangamani, sir. Uh, it's a wonderful talk, and uh, uh, all the participants, uh, especially see, um, being physiotherapist is okay one side, but. Uh, showing interest in research that shows that uh, how we are maturity develops and uh, how you are actually carrying yourself practically 
so coming world is now going towards more of research more of patencies and the nation which more of patency is going to lead the world as such okay i would like to take this opportunity to especially especially appreciate dr jagadish jaiswal our uh, president mp chapter i was just planning for this program and he had immediately made a lead role and he had really conducted such a wonderful thing with such a uh, jained expert we had dr uh, tangamani sir wonderful uh, section so thank you uh, jagdish jaiswal for such a valuable time thank you all over to over to the organizers on behalf yes, of iap technical team thank you so much like to thanks to doc, uh, to our speaker dr thangamani sir even we will uh, we all we thank to our today's chief guest dr suresh sir and we are very thankful to our iap president dr jha sir and our iap women cell national head dr, uh, dr. ruchi ma'am thank you so much sir and ma'am and thank you so much all participants for joining us